Hi everyone, you're welcome back to my channel. Today we're learning how to make a church heart, a Sinami church heart. I know someone is excited. Welcome back to my channel. These are the materials how we're using in this video. The first one we're needing is a mold or molds. This is for the crown of the heart and this is for the brain of the heart. So you need two molds. So we're needing is our heart wire. This is the very strong one. You can use any of the heart wire. We have cinnamon. This is about a yard or one sheet. We have a stiffener. We have UHU gum. UHU gum. So we have a pair of scissors. We have our brush to apply our stiffener. We have tongue things. These are tongue things. This we have this type, and then we have this type. We still have this type. We have a spray. This is spray paint. The color is black because I'm using black cinnamon. They come in different colors. This is silver. This is silver. So we have our Peter Sham ribbon. We have our fishing line or thread. We also have our needle. We'll be using our needle. We have a measuring tape. We have a plier to cut our wire. We will also be needing two plastic bags since we are using two molds. We need um, petroleum jelly for anything to lubricate your mold. You can use olive oil or even vegetable oil. Okay, and then we we'll also need our chalk or pencil to mark. And aside this, you also be needing accessories or other maybe flowers feathers and all that which you can embellish your art with but these are basically what you need to start with so let's get started i want to show us how you can block the brain it's just like you're making the regular fascinator base so the first thing we do is to measure our brain this is our brain this way from here to here we have about 14 inches same 14 inches so you are going to have about three inches allowance. Remember that this brim has a height, so you need to add that to your measurements. So let's add about three inches extra on on the four sides. So this is three inches. Can you see? Then yeah, an extra three inches. So I have it twenty inches this way. I also do the same for this side. This is not up to twenty inches. Let me just manage it. So I have my cinnamon folded in two. Because we'll be using double of this cinnamon to block our fascinator, I mean to block our heart brain. So I'm going to be cutting that out. I'm just going to go ahead and cut this out. It's enough to. For your crown, you're going to measure it to from here. Let's give it about two inches extra, like this. Two inches extra. So that's also 20 inches by 20 inches. The same way, like this. So this is actually enough for me to mold my crown. So I'm also going to divide it into into two because it's, it's in fold. Now this is my plastic bag, and I'm going to just put my mold inside and tie firmly we tie very firm apply our oil or any lubricant to have olive oil, petroleum jelly, vegetable oil, you just rub it on it like this. Even around here. So that you can easily take off your cinnamon. That you can easily remove your cinnamon from your mold when it is dry. That's why we are lubricating it. Alright, this is my cinnamon and I have a bowl of water. I'm going to dip my cinnamon into water like this 
and leave it for a few seconds for it to soak a little. After which I'm going to take it out of the bowl of water and then remove the excess water with the towel. Okay, now I've drained the excess water and I'm going to place my brim like this. Okay, so it's time for us to block the same way we block our fascinator base. Just follow the shape like that. Now to the crown, I'm going to put, cover it with my plastic bag the same way, like this. Make sure that it's very, very smooth on those parts that will be very, very visible. Okay, so I'm going to tie it very firm. Apply petroleum jelly, olive oil, and lubricants, same way we did the brain. This is the upper part of the brim, so I turn it this way. Okay, then I start pinning my cinnamon down to it, like this. Look at the diagonal part, I'm starting from the diagonal part, so it'll be easier. Like that. It's coming up like this. Can you see? It's coming up like this. So that is how I'm going to block. I'm placing my pins on this part and not on the side. So I'm going to go ahead and pin down. Paint the cinnamon to the mold. Now I'm going to go ahead and mix my stiffener and apply them on the cinnamon. Okay, I just mix with little water. Make sure that the stiffener is not too watery. Okay, for best results, do not manage your stiffener. Just add little water and uh, make sure that it is not too light. And at the same time it's not too thick now I'm going to go ahead and apply the stiffener on the cinnamon like that on both on both of them and welcome back guys molds or molded um, items are now dry can you see notice some whitish stains on it well there's a solution to that and it's usually common on black cinnamon. I'll take off the paints and then take off the mold from the cinnamon. And if you want to reduce this height, if you want to reduce the height of the crown, just take a measuring tape and mark, if you want to reduce it by one inch, for example, from this edge, just mark one inch round like that, then you cut it off like this and I'm going to trim it carefully like that round okay the same thing for this to go ahead and trim this off there are two ways to go about it is that you trim and then leave about one inch or half an inch to fold this in to fold this in you can leave about half an inch and fold it and just trim off the excess or you trim it off up to this um, hedge of the edges like that round I've trimmed it up and this is what I have so I'm just going to go ahead and place this on my mold just to keep the shape while I do other things okay it's always safer to keep the shape of the crown while you do other things so the next thing I'll be doing is this this crown is going to fit on this part of the brim all right it's going to fit on this part of the brim so we're going to cut this part off but not exactly this size okay we need to give it some allowance before we cut so what we'll be doing is this i'm going to get my brim mold and place it on it like this so that it doesn't uh, affect the shape and i'm going to measure one inch away from this 
cut this shape one inch away like that round if you are using a brim that doesn't have this particular shape just place the mold the mold you use in making your crown place it on it and draw, draw the shape out then measure one inch away from that line okay whatever mold you're using so i'm just going to go ahead and mark this round just one inch like that round So I'm going to go ahead and cut this off. All right, as you can see, I've cut out the circle that I marked. I've cut it out and this is it. So the next thing for us to do is this. All right, we need to notch. Just go ahead and notch from here uh, up to a little away from this this uh, first circle that is here this shape that we have here we're going to notch like this just notch like this don't allow it to touch this shape here this circle here why we are notching we are notching so that we can have something for this to relax on when we want to attach it i'll show you i've done that now and the next thing for us to do is to attach can place it on my brain to do this as well so that it doesn't um, affect the shape of my brain those uh, parts that i notch using my uhg glue i will apply glue on this part then place it like i like dry a little place it like this and apply pressure to glue it to the crown so i'm going to go ahead and secure with needle and thread i'll just take my needle through this way next thing for us to do is to attach our wire round and then how did i get the measurement i measured my brim from here like this round i got 39 inches so i had it one inch one and a half inch allowance so it depends on the kind of brim you're using yours may be bigger than this now i'm going to go ahead and start sewing on the brim the edge of the brim like this can you see to start sewing like this. this is my art wire i just place it on the edge and sew just going to sew like that I have sewn my wire. I've sewn my wire like this up to this point. So for us to finish, we need to overlap what is left here. We just place them on top of each other. Then we secure with um, needle and thread. So I'm just going to quickly 
secured like that right here Okay guys, at this point I'm using my spray paint on my art. The spray paint helps you to cover your heart, maybe cover stains or beautify your heart if it's not bringing out the color you actually want. For example, I stiffened this my black tsunami and I had some whitish stains. This is actually common on black tsunami. I mean, yes, when you stiffen it, okay? So I just apply spray like that, spray paint on it and let it dry your art is not is of a different color it may not be actually necessary there's also a neutral spray paint you can use just to make your work look shiny or beautiful you understand it's not compulsory okay so just um, apply your spray paint to make your work beautiful okay this is the part one of this tutorial i'm going to be posting the part two after this one and it's going to be on how i embellished my art so if you are yet to subscribe please click on the subscribe button so you don't uh, miss out of any of our tutorials i'll see you all in my next video bye